you play games on a PC, chances are you're using Steam and as great of a platform as it is, it's not perfect. My name is Adullah, you're watching Canada Technology and in this video we're talking about what you can do when Steam gives you a no license present error on Windows. So the first thing that we're going to do is clear the Steam download cache. Now to do this, just fire up Steam, uh, head over to the Steam icon in the top right go down click on settings then head over to downloads and you will see the clear download cache option right here go ahead and click on it uh, this will take a few minutes to get complete but this will wipe out all of the download cache that you might have saved uh, some of your games might ask for an update after this so make sure to update them and uh, they should start running fine the next thing to do is to enable uh, family sharing beta this is especially true if you have uh, any family sharing games in your library and those are the ones that are showing this problem how do we do this well head over to the steam uh, menu once again click on settings then head over to interface and in the client beta participation option as you can see i have no beta chosen and uh, you have the steam beta update now, uh, depending on your version of Steam and your region, you may or you may not have this option of enabling the family sharing beta update because the feature is officially now obsolete. So you can try switching to the Steam beta update. This will restart Steam in order to select a new beta. So you will get access to features that uh, may introduce a few bugs. But in some cases, this can also help resolve this issue. From this point onwards, you can always try verifying the game files just to make sure that the game is properly installed. To do this, head over to your library, right click on whatever game is giving you the problems, head over to uh, properties, then install files. And you will see the verify integrity of game files option just sitting right here. Let this process run for a bit. Um, this will make sure all of your game's files are uh, present available and that your licenses and everything is working as they should finally it's always a good idea to check your game's ownership before uh, you sort of go ahead and reinstall it so uh, as you can see this is my entire game library and if i click on uh, games and tools this all goes so this is not currently sorted by any particular thing these are all my games and i have not added a family sharing account to this thing as of right now uh, and this is also showing only ready to play games uh, so you can manually check that just make sure that the game exists in your uh, library that you have ownership of it and that it's not running on any family sharing account because as steam has outdated that particular feature a lot of games that were being shared might show these problems so the best way to do it is to make sure that you have ownership of the account if uh, of the game if you need it buy it and then just simply reinstall the game to fix the problem sometimes just reinstalling the game in itself can also fix the problem um, and that's that other than that uh, you may check out steam api.dll so this is a dll file steamapi.dll and steamapi64.dll these two dll files are used in every game and they're stored in the game's root directory i do not recommend doing this because you can't find these dll files anywhere else you may find them on third-party websites which is a security risk to download them but if you're really desperate to get the game working finding these files on a third-party website putting them back into where they belong in the game folders can get your games up and running if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video